Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to show you how to identify lamina boundaries in your model and your grid. So I've got an intake port here, and on the inside you can see there's a valve. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this geometry, and I'm going to go to Create, Assemble Models, and try to assemble this into a watertight model. And when I do so, you'll notice that a lot of red boundaries show up those red boundaries are what are referred to as lamina boundaries and you can see them in the table we have 96 lamina boundaries a lamina boundary is a free edge it could be a gap or a crack in the surface or actually even a missing surface like uh, this surface here as well as this surface down here those are actually missing surfaces but the fact that we're seeing red boundaries on the interior of this geometry it leads us to believe that there could be gaps or cracks in that model and i could easily up the edge tolerance and just reassemble to kind of heal over a lot of those. But if I have missing surfaces, I probably want to actually fill in those surfaces um, using those tools within PointWise. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to assemble this with the lamina boundaries that we have here. So you can identify them by looking here in the window, or if you accept that, you can select the model and go to view attributes and change the color mode from per entity to by topology and then update the display and you'll then see the same lamina boundaries highlighted in red here. And if we want, we could isolate the valve and zoom in and see that there are in fact no missing surfaces. Those just look to be gaps in the model. So we could effectively go and increase our uh, assembly tolerance to heal over those. Now, if we go ahead and just mesh this as is, put a surface mesh on it um, and turn off the view of the database, we can do the same thing on the grid level. So if I go to grid merge, You'll notice I've got free connectors. A free connector is basically a lamina boundary. It's a free edge. It's not manifold. Manifold means it's shared by two surfaces. It's, it's watertight. So we can identify those here even on the grid level, and we could effectively heal these problems on the grid level over the faulty geometry. This is referred to as fault tolerant meshing. But I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Instead, very similar to what we did before, I can grab the connectors, and I can go to View Attributes, and I can change the color mode from by entity type to by topology and update the display and you'll see those red boundaries show up. So that's how you can identify and see the lamina boundaries in your model and in your mesh. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.